I'm gonna start with the shortest here, possible. Basically, we talked about like how to handle Damien, and me and oh. those came to an agreement that we definitely want to fire him from management or have him not uh -huh. be manager. But we don't know about firing him completely from the company. But also, I don't know what the fuck, like, insane coincidence, but literally 30 minutes, 35 minutes ago, he changed his role to artist. Ah! Uh, uh, so, girl, somebody getting fucked in that dodo truck. Yeah. <laughs> right, that girl with the red hair. Know, I, was chest. there anything else I missed? Liz? Liz okay. Kind of shit. No, that's pretty much that. That's what we talked about. Okay, so. Do you guys n like understand that if either me or the bimbos did anything that Damien did and we did it toward him, we would get fired instantly, right? From the label, like as a whole. Do you know that, right? Can we like be honest here? I mean. Wait, can I go repair the car? Like, okay. we have to go to Wichita. Oh. Now. We have to go to Wichita now, probably, right? They need to stop fucking in that truck. Jesus Christ. I... Do you guys think I'm gonna just go quickly repair the car? It's totally fine. Like, do you remember, Liz, sure. when you reversed the rolls and yeah. you said that if I did something like that towards him, I will literally, like, he would, the fired. situation would be way worse, sir. So, I think the p people that did their actions, how they did it, they should be held accountable. And I don't think anyone should pass this, like, in an easy way, you know? Like, cause mm -hmm. every time men get away from things and I'm I'm literally over it. Like mm -hmm. he tried to fire me, he tried to get the bimbos killed. Wh mm -hmm. What's gonna happen next? Yeah, that he is- He beat up Rich Chanel the other day. What? True. He beat up Rich Chanel. Uh -huh. He, he, you know that he beat up another person as well. I don't remember what? who it was. Yes. Who else did he beat up? I remember that he, actually. I remember he it beat was... up someone else. I don't remember who, who. was it. Valentine, I know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, he yes. literally does. He beat up like what? Anyone he wants? Like what was the it fuck? Tristan? He was. Wait, I think. I know what I know who you're talking about because I remember I was. It, I think it was Tristan. I think it was Tristan. I'm sorry, but like, I thought. Damien was friends with us and he will never throw us under the bus. What is happening? Like, I don't know. It's just what like, is the happening? most disrespect Damien I ever Liz saw is trying to defend ever. you right now. Hello. Hey, I'm, I'm Liz with trying her we're hardest coming. to defend Damien yeah, yeah, yeah. in bye any bye way bye. possible. I don't know what you guys think. And it's just getting like, harder and because harder. in my opinion, I know I'm right. It's and getting harder I, and harder. And I'm not scared to say shit. You know what I mean? I want people to get justice for what the fuck happened. Right. Valentine, I don't know what you guys are going to talk about in that meeting, but speak your mind, girl, and speak it for us. No, I will, because I'm a fucking blunt person. I'm not fake as fuck. I want him fired, too. Death to all of them. Girl. Right. Hold on, I have to change it to more of a business outfit. I'll just go hang out in the studio. I think I should change. Don't forget to talk in, girl. Oh, hi, Ryan. Hi. Uh, I'm about you? to have a business meeting. I mean, like, I'm not going to get a meeting right now, so. Whew. Yeah. Kelly was just like, right. Bitch. Me turning it off right after you say that. <laughs> yeah. Fuck off, man. What is, like, a good outfit to wear for this? Mm, honestly, this outfit is cute. What? I should just go like this. <laughs> I think it's important to remind her that. Okay, let me not be unserious for like five seconds. Paris got a. Oh, Paris was involved as well. Let oh yeah. What mm -hmm. happened? Paris, Paris got arrested because of because Damien, Damien because he sent out warrants for shot. me uh, and for Paris up. for that, got that got Abdul thing. What? He beat up Dom. Like, he's just off the fucking rock. Oh, right? that's oh who God. he beat up, she Dominic. Beat up Dom. I don't know what the hell Okay, that's right who he beat up, Dominic Bast... Uh, what was it? Dominic? What was his last name? Bastias, think. Bastias? Okay. Like, girl, I'm sorry, but what is happening? Like, it's not... The thing is that this situation involves a lot of people, not only yeah. me and the bimbos. Right. Like... <sighs> Damn. Girl, Liz, speak your mind. What do you actually want? What do you actually think is the best option here? 
I honestly, I think that Damien should be moved to artists without any chance of becoming management ever again. Because I know he did betray everyone, but at the end of the day, this is his home. But girl, it's awkward having him around. Like, girl. I, like, I know it is, but this is so his home. Fucking... Besides us, there are other people here that he talks to consistently, you know? Like, it's but not just us. But he speaks to some damn people as well. I... But he, if he... That's the thing, though, is he can't, like, just go against just... everybody. Like, like, he... If he tries to boss people around while he's just an artist, then obviously we're gonna have to talk to him about it and maybe even let him go from there. But I... Oof. <laughs> 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 actually you know i want to speak to damien himself like i want to yeah, ask him why do you do all of that towards us like what did what did we do anything we didn't do anything wrong ever why did, I like him? Do that? Why did fuck? he fucking I didn't even XLR cable become like that. that towards us out of nowhere right. just because always oh, friends with abdul and who gives a fuck literally abdul threatened me to shoot no. me as all of that just because he for his dumb mis mistake that he made and he got fired for it. See, but it's I, not my fucking fault. I get what you're I get what you're saying. And I do honestly, if I didn't have oh, a relationship okay. with Damien, I one hundred percent think he should be fired. But just knowing that he has been here for so long and Well, we know we had a yeah. we had a relationship with him too. Actually we still do. Uh -huh. But it's very fucking awkward now. Yeah, no, I, I and get it's that. like this, this person tries to get us killed, trying to get us fired. Like, what should we think about this? What should we really think about this? Like, I, let's be fucking real. I mean, I'm going to talk to them about it, but I I personally, Valentine, I, I love you and I want what's best for you, but I don't think Damien should be fired. I just don't see it. I think, I mean, I can imagine him going to Mandem because he is, you know, producing, having Sparky produce his whatever, but I just... Oh, I, so it makes all sense. I, I, I don't see him like... Like, he's here all the time. Every time that I come around, he's here. This is his home. I, I don't I think mean, it's just as simple I mean, I do not deny him. that. I do not deny that. And listen, I never even thought of getting, like, making him ever, like, fired or anything like that. But when he goes against these label mates that were supposed to be his friends, then I my mind changes. Like, I think... Okay, us, Valentine, I'm gonna be real. I'm just trying to defend Damien any way that I can because I can't deal with this right now. Girl, that's why I'm I trying to him. remember our I management need... get to the conference room oh right now. God. Oh my god. I know he's not right. I know he's not in the right now. What the hell is going on? I need food. Girl, why do you look like Naomi? What am I gonna do? I want to agree with Valentine. But Damien, I've known him for so long. I can't just let them throw him away like this. Get yourself together, Liz. Okay, are we having our meeting here or upstairs? What? Are we are we going up into the meeting room? Conference room. Conference room, okay, perfect. Well, it's good to see you again, Harry. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, oh my god. Well, let's, let's Is this all we have? Can, let's just have this meeting and see what the fuck's up. You can sit here, Nico. Is this all we have? Okay. Up there. All right. Uh, what's his here. number in the train? Uh, I don't think he's on the train. All right, just let him get here. Uh, is Noel awake? I don't know. I could email him don't and check. So. Hmm. I could email her and see if she wants to try to wake up. 
already on it. Oh my god. Okay. The shit going on you know, I tonight. I try to take three days to myself, guys. Three days is all I all I wanted to do after spending the past month working on Wuchella. Just three days. But apparently, I can't do that. I'm so sorry, Harry. I mean, I would have handled this any way that I could, but I didn't want to overstep your jurisdiction. What What are you talking about? Oh, are we not on the same page right now? I don't know. I'm just, I'm here and I'm mad because of an email that I got. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll see. Give me one second. Son, stop being Snoopy. What is going on? I literally have no clue. I don't know what, he, what Harry's talking about, but. What email? What the, what the fuck? I don't fucking know, but... No one here emailed him, right? I didn't. Is it did you? No, I didn't even better. I just woke up. I got an email to to assemble everybody. I don't even know what the fuck is happening. What is going on? So, crazy weekend, am I right? Oh my god. Oh my god, the tension in this room. So anything new with you, Easy? Same. Same. How about you, Liz? What else have you been up to? Well, I actually just went to go visit a um another county and check out some things for the Halloween performance I'm gonna be doing at one of their venues. So it was really cute. Ooh. I'm getting a custom cool. outfit made for Thursday for my Fangs performance um, at a cemetery. So it's gonna be really, really cute. Oh. Something fun. Thing for the girls to get ready to understand why things can't just function for excited to see that to be called in. God, the housing market's just so crazy right now, you know, just so hard to find a nice house these days. Nico, what are you talking about? Oh my god, confirm. I'm trying to make, I'm <laughs> well, literally just trying to make conversation. You're all confirm. sitting Thank here Thank you so silent. much for the 100 bits. Not to meta, but we're being robbed by ladies. So this um, is our big release. Okay. Okay. 
I mean, you find a house and then it's like already bought, am I right? And then you find a house and it looks nice. You go to the back and the backyard is like shit, am I right? And you, <laughs> check out, you check out the pool. You check out the pool and it's like covered, right? Ryan. Like $2.5 million for this? <laughs> like, come on. Trust me, I've been through it. Right. Yeah. Right. Real estate is a crazy market. It's almost as crazy as Crazy Frog. Wait, Crazy Frog? Do you not know what Crazy yeah. Frog is, Valentine? No. He's a little frog with a little penis, and he's blue. He goes, What's going on? What's going on? It's like the beginning of one of his songs. Oh, okay. You probably heard it before. Mm. You just don't remember it. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Wait. It's so crazy. Hold on. Yeah, it is so crazy. That that frog. So crazy. You should remix. <laughs> you should sample a crazy frog for a beat one day. I think. Yeah, maybe, maybe I oh. should. Yes. Bimbo's featuring Crazy Frog. <laughs> yeah, that's, Imagine. that sounds like fun. Crazy Frog needs to do a cover up. You know what, Nico? I was actually going to talk to you. Are you familiar with Hatsune Miku? I am. I know of her. Cactus yes. Tanner, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Well, I was planning on it. I've been... I've been messaging back and forth with her she messaged me on instagram and um i was like wow so harajuku kawaii hey Hi, oh my Noel. god look who it is Noel. oh hell no hey. oh, hell no. oh hell no not you what's your beef with no, Noel? no 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 um, no no this music you guys seem happy today. Right. I'm just, yeah. It's been a crazy day. Right. Does anybody know where Big Belly is at? He's not coming. This is so unserious. Stop. <laughs> so I get an email from Tinkerman says that uh, he's going back down to artist why oh I have no idea. Have no I idea. was literally gonna. No I was gonna ask. No, I was no literally gonna ask the same thing because I noticed in the logs uh -huh. like thirty minutes ago that he did that to himself. Okay. I wanted to know if he said anything to you because he said something to me. He didn't say anything to us. Nothing. It's been silence from him. I talked to him briefly, and it was not a serious conversation. So. Where's he going? Why would he do that? I don't know. I was. I wanted to ask him the same thing. So he didn't talk to any of us, but went straight to Harry to try and victimize himself. About what? Like about has anyone spoken to him in the past no, week? I literally did not exchange a word with him. Ryan, come here. Huh. I'm gonna tell you the same thing that I just told them. No one is to leave that room for the time being until this conversation is over with in the conference room. Once the conference room conversation is over with, everybody can leave, do what they need to do. In the meantime, they are not to leave, and if they do, they're suspended for three days. <laughs> Love you, kiddo. Okay, let me be a little more serious. Let's now, be a little more serious. I get an email. You know, I'm I'm laying there in my bed, you know, just chilling, you know, thinking about 
future dogs to buy me and Noelle, even though she wants a cat, I'd like to add more dogs to the family. You know, just thinking about nice things. And then I get an email that says, going back down to artists, not much, uh, not going to be around much. And when I am, I don't want crazy stuff, just going to make music. Um, and then, you know, he's, I guess, like uh, fed up or whatever. I don't know. I don't really care at this point because I'm sick and tired of him trying to flip flop between management and artists. And it's done. He's oh, not oh my God. Up. And I, know, I don't want you to know. Man. Shut up. You I do not sex. want anything Sad else. Devin. If anybody tries to come thank at me, you so much for the say, five months. Oh, yeah, Damien should you, be thank back you, thank up you, in thank management. You. No, it's not. Thank you. That's not the case. Thank you so much for the he five months. He is not months. to be moved back up to management. He is not to be even remotely talked about as management. Because I'm sick and tired since I've been here. It's been six months. How many times, Nico? I'm sorry, I told you shut up. I'm just in a really bad mood. How many times since I've been here has he went from management down to artist? I think I don't know. It's probably like third. Maybe third time? I Maybe think it's fourth. fourth. Yeah. I honestly think it might it's the be fourth. fourth time. It might be fourth. It's definitely the and fourth. And I am sick and tired of having to deal with this because right as we go to have something good, we have some sort of stability. Then we don't have the stability because then he wants to just have a, a hair up his butt and go a different way. At the end of the day, I am trying to build something that when we are not in the city, the, 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 the building and the company as a whole continues to work just fine. So what we have here for management is the way that it's going to be. I'm very happy, easy that you're here right now because I am going to be taking and your your role and everything. And obviously Valentine too. You guys with executives, I really wanted to hear. I want to hear what you guys have to say about this as well. So I'm so happy that both of you guys are here specifically because right. again, obviously, um, you know, well, obviously, Noel, you're also an executive, even though I think of you as like board of directors sometimes. But that's regardless of that. Anyway. I'm just so frustrated that this is continuing to be a thing. I don't know what hair has gotten up his butt, but it's like at first, you know, I thought, oh, hey, maybe he's going through a phase. Maybe it's something like that because he keeps buying things and then he'll sell it and then he'll buy something else and then he'll sell it. And then he scams me out of $200,000. And I'm like, you know what? And it was, you know, that is what it is, what? right? It is what it is. Who, hold on. What's... <laughs> Bye, everyone. Leave. Leave. Leave? Uh, okay. to the, the other room. Uh, uh, <laughs> that works. I am so fed up. And I thought that, you know, again, maybe it was just a fate. You know, that he goes and he, he buys a car and then he sells a car and then he buys a car and then he sells a car. And then he just, he, you know, this car is my favorite car. It's the car that I've always wanted. This car is a car I've always wanted. I always wanted to own tequila. La. I always, want, always wanted this Mustang. I always wanted this, uh, that, and the third. And he can never make up his mind. Now, all of a sudden, he wants to be a cop. Then he wants to act like we, we should treat him no differently than anything else. Now, guess what? He tells me, I'm not going to be a cop anymore. I am sick of this flip-flopping. I got put into this position as CEO to make something of this company. Because when I first came in, and this is no, no like, you know, meaning, like, negativity towards Damien, but he talks about how much he carried Wu Chang on his back for several months. And he makes it seem like everybody else didn't do anything along the way. But that's not the case. I get it that, you know, he has been Wu Chang and that he has been solidified as a, you know, a member of Wu Chang and this will forever be his home. But just because he is the past, it does not mean that he is the present and it does not mean that he is the future. At the end of the day, whether you guys want to accept this or not, even myself, we're all cogs on the wheel. We are all replaceable, except maybe Nico. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Like, people come and go. That's the, the way life goes. That's how companies continue to work even after the founder dies. Because you have to keep moving. You have to keep moving forward. Because if you don't, then you just die. And this place becomes desolate, just like MDMR is. But I don't want that to happen, and I don't want to see that happen. And I don't want to continue to watch things, you know, like take 10 steps forward and then suddenly five steps backwards. I am so done. So if anybody else, I'm giving you an open opportunity. If you don't want to be in management, if you don't want the responsibility or anything else like that, tell me now. Because if you don't want it, if you don't want to be an executive, if you don't want to be in management, tell me 
I no hard feelings whatsoever. I will find somebody else to pl- replace you. You can still be an artist here. There's no, you know, there, I'm not mad at you or anything like that, but I cannot continue to think that something's okay and rely on somebody in a position, especially somebody like Damien, who I consider like a brother to me, to then all of a sudden flip flop and be like, nah, I don't wanna do that. I specifically made the branding officer position for him because that's what he requested. And I am done doing anything to appease him. I am done. I am the CEO of this company and he's going to fall in line. And if he doesn't, then he can leave and he can go to Mandem. He can start his own record label. I do not care. May I speak? Of course. I feel like the difference between us and Damien Tinkerman is that we all have a common goal. Um, he clearly has multiple goals that he won, and I feel like we sometimes it just doesn't align with him. That's fine. He can do what he wants. We ha- feel like we have a straight path of what we want to do. We're artists. We make music. He's a cop. He's a manager. He's a whatever. And that's why I feel like he just don't, does not work in the managerial position, in my opinion. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. Um, and I wanted to defend Damien as much as I could going into this, but I just can't. I can't. I mean, from beating up our employees to hooing them to, um, you know, all the stuff that he does with, you know, the ego and, and, you know, getting people to leave the label because they weren't fond of the way that he talked to them. There's just a little bit too much um, emotional involvement that he has here. And um, I think what he pulled with Valentine and the Bimbos and Abdul was a great reflection of something that he's done to us many times, which is going against his family because he wants to be liked by a certain group of people that may not align with the rest of us. I think you already know how I feel. I told you a few weeks ago. Yeah. I don't. And again, I I apologize about telling you to shut up. I. I just really didn't want to be cut off while I'm in that zone. No, you're good. I had to listen to Kendrick Lamar's DNA before I came into this office. Nice. Really good album. Um, But yeah, no, you you know how I feel. I don't think I need to repeat it, but I just think he's too emotionally invested. That's pretty much it. Can I say something? Of Um, course. Since everything happened, when he's around here, I don't feel comfortable. Like, that is just the truth. And I know the bimbos are not either. Because he literally, he literally helped someone trying to get us killed. And, you know, me fired and the bimbos killed. He literally got Britney tortured. And, you know, um, told Abdul that, like, he did not deny that I was not a bimbo. So he thought I was a bimbo. So Abdul went after the bimbos. He told everybody to go after the bimbos, all the gangs and shit. Like he did so much damage towards us. It's insane. Mm -hmm. Why, if I did something like this, if the bimbos did something like this, would we still be in this company? Hell the fuck no. Y'all would have fired us instantly. Then that's the truth. No, you still would be. Damien doesn't get to choose who gets fired anymore. That's not even when, you know, beforehand, when he was still chief brand officer, that's not what he did. That's not, you know, like it doesn't matter if he ever tried to fire somebody and I did not agree with it. I would instantly bring that person back. That's not a, an option in the slightest, <laughs> even more so for the longest time. We had an understanding between me and him that he is not supposed to be firing anybody at all. There's a whole reason why we have a board of directors, because it's a conversation that's supposed to be had amongst everyone. Mm-hmm. And just like also, we'll have this conversation with the board of directors about Damien entirely. Also, I don't know if you know, but I just wanted to let you know he he also beat up Rich Chanel a few days ago here at Wu-Tang. Yeah, I know. Like, and Dominic. About that okay. too. And, and Dominic here's Bastia. the thing, like, I'm going to take, and we're going to take that into consideration as well. And this is something that we need to talk to Kay about.
I want you guys to be there. I'll obviously be there. Um, you know, this is something that unfortunately executives can't be a part of, but you know, mm -hmm. even just, if not, you know, so. if you guys can't be there, then I'll talk to Kay directly. It'll be fine. I'll be there. Okay. I'll try it as well. I, I was going to yeah. say, I just don't understand. I literally talked to him a month ago personally to clear up everything and like, making sure that everything was good because I remember that we had like a scuffle like back at which and got because of like some comments and he apologized. So, you know, we, we forgot about it, but so I w we had a conversation us to like, to make sure everything is good. And then he does this, he throws us under the bus like this. Like it just doesn't make sense in so my head. So the thing is, is Valentine, we can't necessarily say that he threw you under the bus because we haven't talked to him yet. We don't know his side of the story. We know how it looks, and it looks really bad. And, there, you know, he's going to have to explain a lot. But we can't fully say that, you know, like, without having full details, without having the other side. And maybe he'll lie, but he's never lied to me about anything. He's always been very direct and very blunt. So here's to hoping that he doesn't lie. At the same time, he also, I can't really, I guess I can't necessarily say that considering he held $200,000 away from me. But still, I also understand that he's a money-driven whore, so yeah true but how did me and paris the ones involved with the abdul situation get warrants after a situation when no one's in but damien saved he was the one saving abdul you know and he was a cop too at, at that time <sighs> they probably both snitched so that is a, one of the most one of the confirmations that he probably did this like as we are looking at I mean, them i get that but like I said, you need to talk to your lawyer about getting the report. I told you that you have we, to get that report so we can know exactly who, like, you know, said what. We already know who did it. It was Ash, someone that's, that's called Ashley. No, 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 Valentine. That's not what I'm saying. You have to find out like the full report, like, you know, what's the, the details of the report, you know, because they won't be okay. able to give the names of the people that did it, you know, like that said something because that's going to be redacted. Right. But at the same time. I mean, if you find the right cop, they'll probably be stupid enough to tell you. But at the same time, though, you know, just finding out the information that's told, if it lines up with something that Damien would say, then it makes sense. Yes, Liz. Um, Valentine, didn't you say earlier that Abdul told you that Damien said all that? Oh, yeah. So basically, um, me and Harry at a meeting with Abdul, he did not come. He did, he did deny some stuff. But at the same time, he did, I don't remember exactly how, what he said, but he did like, he did confirm some points that we thought, you know, we were doubting. And um, for example, the uh, him getting hired and fired, he was literally, he was acting like he was, uh, he didn't know about it at all. I'm sorry, but how did he not know about it? If you I know he's his, lying about that D? because the, um, I can't remember who it was, but somebody said that there was a fat guy that came in with multiple people that were looking for you. Right. Like that, actually came oh. in and had keys. So I right. knew he was lying there. But the thing is, is like Abdul is a manipulator. He is not going to, and I wanted to know if he would try to lie to my face, like inside this building, because, you know, I lost a lot of respect for the guy because of that. That doesn't mean I'm not going to be civil with him and let him think that I'm just, you know, stupid or whatever. But and now it makes me know that he's just a manipulator. And who's to say that he didn't say some of those things, you know, and try to, you know, further cause a central like crisis between individuals here at Wuche? I don't know. But the thing is, like, mm -hmm. until we talk to Damien, we won't fully know those answers. But we have to talk to Damien to get those answers. Yeah, like, that's, that's the reality of it. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, what if he hired Abdul before he had the meeting with us and then he, he had the meeting with us and then fired him? Oh, no, because we had the meeting because we saw the logs. So maybe he realized before and then we had the meeting with him because he, yeah. I remember it happened like right after the, I like I shot Abdul and he said and he basically Damien like helped him out this. and everything. In Damien's defense, I don't think he would ever do anything to cause somebody to be hurt here. Uh, just because, like, I've seen him take, you know, and defend people. Like, I know he cares about this label, but I question at times if he cares about people in the label. Because I know that, like, it takes a lot for people to warm him up and for him to be, like, cool with them or whatever. 
and maybe he struggles with like you know i i don't know like social interaction or something i don't really know but at the end of the day that doesn't really matter because what matters is running this label efficiently and not making excuses and getting down to business do you remember when he let in an MDM artist and they had beef with the bimbos at the time. Yeah, and I told and him that that's the thing though. Like some of the people that were let in didn't have beef. I think the only person that did was probably Dwayne, right? Regardless mm. of that though, the issue is at hand. And I told him this to his face. It was Harlow as well, by the way, you, just so you know. I don't even know who Harlow is. So okay. um, uh, like the thing is, is like I told him he made a bad decision. I didn't agree with it. I won't agree with it because at the end of the day, we have to feed our people first before anything else. It doesn't matter if you're sitting there and you feel bad for somebody. It's great to have empathy for a long time. I didn't have empathy. I didn't even know what it was. I thought everything right. was just sympathy, being sympathetic towards people. I didn't know what that actual feeling was, but I get it now. I do. I fully understand that. And the thing is, and the fact of the matter of like all of this, what it comes down to is that our people matter more than anything else. We have these people in our label, they are to be nurtured and cared for and to be shown the respect and give the tools to utilize themselves in a way that makes them even better as a star. That is it. So, you know, if there's beef between the other labels, then so be it. There's beef between the other labels. That does not mean that those people should be allowed in to make music because somebody from the, their own record label or from their own gang that owns the record label was going around like, you know, doing stuff to people. That sounds like an MDM problem. That doesn't sound like a Wu-Chang problem. You know what that sounds like? He's kind of clear. That sounds like another reason for them to come here. I just don't like, because Dwayne, like he wanted to literally shoot the bimbos. So yeah, Dwayne is stupid and he's a hothead. I've known the kid for four to five years. He's literally one of the most hot-headed people. He doesn't think about anything. He's just like, he, he just jumps the gun and that's all he is. He hasn't matured as a person. So talking about Dwayne and everything else, like, and this isn't me being like angry at you, Valentine at all. It's just me being more angry at the fact that he's never grown up after four to five years, especially like now that he owns a, a record label and he still has this mentality instead of actually trying to be level-headed when it comes to thinking and stuff like that. It's astounding to me. It truly is. And I understand that Damien's friends with him. And again, I'm friends with him too. But just because I'm friends with him doesn't mean that I agree with him. It doesn't mean that I'm going to let him in here to work on music. It doesn't mean that I'm going to feel bad for him just because he's not in Mandem anymore. He's a friend of mine. I'll have his back. I'll talk to him. I'll support him, whatever. But at the end of the day, the people here, the bimbos here, the people under my brand, under my building and my label come first. And mm -hmm. that is a mentality that Damien does not have. And is it a, a mentality that he'll ever have? I don't know. It's not my job to find out. That's something for Lindy to find out. That's something for, you know, like somebody else to find out. Our job is to take care of us and our people. He can okay. seek help if he needs it. Well, all I'm, all I try to say is that it's two times that he let in people, you know, Abu Chang that tried to harm us. That's all I, uh, that was my point. That's it. What I'm confused about is how like, that situation happened like what one one and a half weeks ago Ooh. two weeks ago no one's really like butted heads with him since then so i'm really confused as to why he's suddenly decided to step down from his i don't know management position that's what i'm confused about like has anyone spoke to him about that like, no. impulsive as fuck. exactly like, thank you thank you easy impulsive as long as like i've known to be just he just does shit. he doesn't communicate well either not until the yeah, damage he, is already done that's how just, just that's how he works talks about it mm -hmm. And that we can't have that. It's ultimately, you know, like he's an artist. He'll stay in Wu-Chang, you know, and fine. Sure. Unless something happens with this meeting with Kay. But I think Kay will agree. I think if anything, I'll probably toss out the idea of suspending him for, you know, a significant amount of time. I agree. I think that's a great idea, Harry. I, I really think that Damien just... You know, at the end of the day, this is his home and he's here all the time. But we've had multiple conversations where he told me that he doesn't really feel like Wu Chang is like, you know, has anymore, I guess. I, I might be like more of like a an ego problem, maybe. Um, But I personally feel like he just like. I, I think how we should play it right is if we're going to keep him as an artist I, I have a feeling he's still going to try and boss people around when he doesn't have the jurisdiction to do so. 
just because that's just how he is. And um, I think when that problem arises, if it does, then we can take even further action. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what is what, like you were saying, we weren't on the same page. What was up? Like, what'd you want to talk to me about? I know this was exactly what I wanted to talk to you about because I was thinking of putting Damien oh, gotcha. on okay. probation. Meanwhile, you were away. Um, but I didn't know mm. if that was something that I could even do. Cause I'm just like, you know, I haven't really been involved, involved. Yeah. For I minute. mean, when it comes to like suspensions and firing, we just talk about that as the board of directors. I need to put yeah. like the, the thing that I have written down. I just have to find the document and put it in there and then like pin it so everybody can see what the board of directors actually does. Yeah. Nico, Nico and like, I talked about executives it. Obviously executives hyper focus on things. So yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, right now the only people that are in the board of directors are literally me, you, Nico and, uh, yeah, I think that's it actually. Yeah. It was Damien, but not anymore. I'm... Yeah. And then Kay obviously too, but, uh -huh. Like even then, uh, like we typically talk to things and like talk things out and then talk to Kay about it. So I don't know. So is Damien still awake? Because I think I tried calling him before this because I was uh -huh. going to talk to him before this meeting. Okay. Or like have him here at this meeting. Thing I, is, will... is I don't know how he would have responded with me like actually going off. Yeah. I would love to talk to him, like to, for him to explain himself for Owen on why he did everything he did towards me and the bimbos. Like, I will love to hear, you know? Mm -hmm. I want to hear that. If you're going to do it in this building, please have Lindy here or a person from HR. Please don't do that without that. If you right. do that, then do it outside the building if you can't find somebody. But have like a mediator there. And I want to know like, why. Somebody that can confirm himself. what we have to say. I'm still confused why he demoted himself. So I think we all need some clarification on that as well. Whenever we get the chance to speak to him. Julia, I'm calling the therapist I think real so. quick. I think so. I actually don't hey, know. Hey, it's Harry. I wasn't meaning to be rude to you or anything. We just had a very uh, important conversation that we had to take care of in the conference room and that nobody could hear. I'm good. I'm still in this meeting, but I wanted to apologize for being rude. Yeah, for sure. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye. All right, cool. Um, I just like, if I ever snap and then realize that I've snapped, I try to apologize instantly to the people that I may have barked at. If anybody here got offended by anything that I said, again, I apologize. The anger is not at you. Anger's not even at the company. I'm my ang my anger honestly is just at Damien. Because I like this has just continued to happen. And like the thing is, is that when Bye, I made Cal. that CBO position, the chief brand officer, like that was for the sole purpose to try to appease him. And I don't know if like it's naturally oh like if it's because of when I first got here, he was a super prick to me and I felt like I had to prove myself to him, you know, to get to the spot that I'm at. Like maybe that's still mentally lingering in, um, but at the same time, I'm not so uh, some submissive cunt. Right. No, you're fucking so, not. That's Noel's job. That fucking is. What the fuck? What? Slighting in the mood. Nothing. Nothing. We're not having this conversation right now. Do you not know what a submissive cunt is, Nico? Yeah, he does. That's what. No, and two know. wears the pants in his relationship, Liz. Ooh. Are you serious? Yeah. Like, I, I just, we don't have to have this. I feel like I, if we have this conversation like every day. <laughs> Is Shannon hitting your really... boy pussy really good? What? What? Is her pussy good? <laughs> no. What? I said Nico's pussy, not Shannon's pussy. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Oh. oh, Shannon! Oh, Shannon catching strays. Right. She's not catching strays. All right. I'm just joking around. Though. Right. I find it funny how he just he starts to. I don't know how to describe it. He just becomes like a hermit. Nika. What do you mean? 
I don't know. You just like recluse into a shell. The prisoner of war. True. Mm -hmm. what? Shannon's very intimidating. Oh, Nico. For a baby. Oh, Jesus. Is she already trying to get that out of you? Get what? No. She's already trying a baby? for the baby. Oh my god, no, I just started no, a room no for fun. No, no one's having a kid. No one's pregnant. You're fucking Shannon every night and giving her cream pie? <gasps> oh my god, Nico, that's so crazy. You want- do you, Why are you asking me that? Do you want to hear the that's answer to said, that? That's what you said to say this morning. If we were ever talking about having a baby. You no, I said, is that what you would want me to say? Is oh that god. what you would want me to say? You guys should plan your babies together. No, Why you. are we I don't, talking we've... about this right now? Shh, Valentine. If Miss Noella Blissa Martinez decides that she wants to do that, then you know maybe we'll we'll do that. But in the meantime, she'll have three kids that she'll have to worry about. So, yeah, I'm I'm mothering. It's a lot right to now, handle. So I'm I'm considering that I do all the cooking and the cleaning in the house. You know, like I don't think that she's ready for that. Honestly, I think I'm gonna give up my body to be a surrogate for gay people because I really just I don't know when it's happening with Big D. I don't know, but I want to be a mother. Mm. I can feel my yeah, my eggs leaving. Oh wow. Anyways, what were we <laughs> We gotta see we got off topic again. Yeah, no, no uh, we're done. We like, uh, the, I'm trying we're to done. just like Yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, lighten the mood now Pretty because of uh, Yeah. Did Easy have anything right. else to say? I feel like he didn't. Oh uh, yeah, Easy. Did you have anything say. else to say, brother? I mean, I didn't even know what the fuck was going on at first. So I was just trying to take it all in. But I mean nah. I, the boy's impulsive, like, they're irrational at times, so I'm not really surprised by any of this. And I mean, you know, I love him to death, and I don't want him to leave the label, but at the same time, he just needs to make, like, clear, conscious decisions, and he needs to be communicative. Like, especially about this whole bimbo Valentine thing, like, he needs to be. If he's not, I'm going to be highly disappointed. That's why he has such a bad image about it, because he doesn't talk to us about it. Like, he doesn't tell, oh, like... He doesn't go around us talking to us like, oh, like if you're are something that like I did, like if it's not if you really didn't like mean to do those things the way we know about it, then tell us. And we're we are not gonna we're not gonna be angry at you like that. Just communicate with us and let us know what's the truth. But from how he's acting, how from what, the things we know, like he definitely did those things. Like, come on. Or or yeah, or, no, or either you. or like, either until that then, or he's until we talk to him, no. Like until he actually speaks up and like we talk to him about this, like it it looks very damning. Mm -hmm. Literally, like so, yeah, yeah. I just want people <clears throat> that do certain actions to get the consequences they deserve. Uh, it's because I want to bring up something Valentine while we're talking about it. Um, just yeah. to put it in perspective for everyone else. Um. Imagine if it was Valentine that was doing stuff about Damien behind his back, you know, and all of that before. I don't think Valentine would have as much kind of credit as we give Damien and like leeway that we give him because he's been here for so long. Um, and I think part of that is because of how emotional Damien is. You know, we but all want I've him been to. longer than Damien oh, in right. walking on eggshells around him. Exactly, but I know you've been here longer, but I think that if it, if the roles were reversed, you definitely would be taken out of management or fired, mm -hmm. no question. You That's know? what um, I tried to say sorry. earlier. That's what I tried to say earlier. If the roles were reversed, if I did those things to Damien, it would have been worse for me. So I want people to get held accountable how they should be. Right, and, and Liz, we're, don't look we're at the email I just sent you yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't look at it yet. I didn't even well, know um, that one. Gotcha. Don't look at it again. <laughs> um, here's the thing. Like, regardless, if that was the case, I mean, I still was waiting to talk to him to do anything whatsoever. Um, the way I'm tempted to look, I'm not looking. I'm like, not looking. the thing is, is I would have definitely removed him regardless. And that we would have been having this conversation, except instead of me yelling about it, it would have been me saying you know he told me he talked to me i didn't like what i heard i've removed him from management he's not going to be back in management um and that sort of thing instead of me waking up or not waking up but me just vibing browsing looking at led lights and puppies 
you know, to boom. So. Right. But yeah, anybody else have anything else to say? Nope. Not, not really. That was okay. That. Let's check your email now. Okay. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? That's something that's currently being worked on of me and Noel. Oh my god. What's that? Has Noel seen that's that? That's what you've seen, babe. Yeah. It's just the most recent update of what we have. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Sorry. Thank you. It's all good. Wow. I just, I don't know. Noel never, I never heard Noel like do those sounds. Oh, Harry hits them a lot. So I knew you, I <laughs> right. literally knew you were going to say that. I knew you were, I, I could predict that you were going to say that. Yeah. I was waiting for it. Mm. All right, well. I am uh, going to head back to bed and get out of this attire. Mm -hmm. Does anybody want this firework launcher, by the way? Um, All right, I'm just going to put it on the ground. It. There you go, it's on the ground. Snatched it from Nico's hands. I wasn't. Wow. I wasn't gonna grab yeah, it. Were. I walked over this way. Why would I walk this way if I was gonna grab it? I saw you wanting it. <laughs> if I wanted, I would have. I would have gotten it. Wow. Is there fireworks? So it looks like. Also, MDM records um, being one, 40 one thing just to to finalize. Um. I just I want you guys to understand that um, out of the city I'm fine. By the no, way, who's RPing the baby? Like if anybody thinks that I'm just like overwhelmed or anything like that, I'm good. Baby, um, I just it's not Chinese it Twitter season. Yeah. True. Right. I just wanted that to be like I don't want people Still. thinking that I'm actually like you know super overwhelmed yeah. or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we got you. I just showed him. Damien, it's over party. party! Yeah. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> Should we all show up just and sit outside and still be like, oh man, look how it, it must feel to have just six people. <laughs> we should all dress up as Damien and go to the Random Records meeting. Like, I, I want to join. Girl. Hey um, is it okay? Is it cool if I audition? If I guys? wouldn't be surprised. Just saying. Am I still making a weird face? Is my mouth just like open? No, you, you're good. Oh yeah, I was not using in the meeting. Like your mouth was like was like Yeah, I was opening. shocked. I was so shocked. Mouth wide open like I was at the dentist. dentist. Right. You thought right. I was fooling you. Oh yeah, Liz, oh. please don't share that with anybody. I won't. No. Okay, perfect. I'm I wanna wait until it's secret. fully done to But it looks so good, right? It does. Uh, it's so it looks even more real than you two right now. It's crazy. Oh, do you see Molly on Twitter? No, what did she say? She said random meeting, and I said, good luck booking that stage or whatever. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> good luck booking us? that stage. Someone should turn up. up. Like, I'm just Wait, I want to be show one of up. them. I'm... We should show up. We should Maybe all go Lucifer to the random That is so <laughs> Oh, by the way, um, guys, and once uh, this is done, just don't try to trash talk random too much. Uh, at the moment, yeah, there is like label B for whatever, you know, but um, I'm going to try to get a collaborative thing going. Uh, mm -hmm. Something that they talked to me about, you know, and I was like, you know what? For the betterment of the music industry, maybe it'd be kind of cool if we had some people work with some people. Yeah, but I if, you know, not like, a bad idea. Say like there's the example of like, you know, the Bimbos and Sparky mm -hmm. Kane and Dwayne, they're not going to work together, obviously. But um, mm -hmm. also uh, after... Yeah, well, yeah, I know, but I'm saying, like, you know, would have you work with somebody else. Granted, I don't really know their roster that well, but uh, Lucifer Romano II roster? is leaving Mandem, <laughs> and he's coming to Wu-Chang. Oh. <gasps> oh. What? Oh, I know they're not. Him. Him. He's getting out of the mud pit, or whatever they right. call it. Yeah, the trenches. Lucky him. And and like, this he's like, you know, I was broader. This is going to be one is. of those things that um, slowly but surely... 
we may end up poaching it not necessarily i don't think it's poaching if they're coming to me but you know there may be uh another like three to four people following his footsteps so oh, oh my god they're gonna have no one that's revenge so the thing is, it's, it's not poaching if they're fucking begging you know, on on three i want everybody to put their hands up gang sign and gang sign real quick and just, just on three we're gonna what? do at the same time no right? i cannot do I that i feel like this is culturally appropriate right. and i shouldn't be doing this as a white woman what do you think shannon I don't know. <laughs> Let's just do it anyway. You're so. the chief diversity no. officer. Okay, yeah, no well, one's around. I think it's worse that you're not doing it. So, yeah, you know, like, there's enough, you know, cringe. no one's around. around. All right, on three, we're, we're going to get woo, over right? High. One, two, three. Woo. 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 All right. You know what the fuck I'm writing. I'm ready. I'm writing my twat longer right now as we speak, actually. So. <gasps> hey, let me stop doing it. I'm so sorry. I shoot up the I bitch. I fuck the bitch. Man, come up the bitch. Man, fuck the bitch. What? Huh? Girl, what are you even talking about? Like... <laughs> <laughs> right. 